Trinity Beach. The member for Kingston and the Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I will be sharing my time today with the member from Beaches East York, Newmarket Aurora, and Eglinton Lawrence. Uh, I couldn't agree more with uh, what has been said that purchasing a home is the single biggest investment that people will make in their lifetime. It is so important that buyers are aware of the condition of their new home, both from a financial investment and safety perspective. In my previous life, working in residential and commercial renovation, interior design, and rental property ownership, I saw firsthand the importance of a thorough and proper home inspection. Home inspectors have the skills and knowledge to inspect a home in a lot more detail than the average buyer and even the foresight to anticipate problems in the future. Unfortunately, they are not all created equal. I have benefited greatly from the home inspector's services, both personally and in the purchase of my own home and as part of my professional work. My brother, on the other hand, experienced some life-changing difficulties. He purchased a home that had mold in the basement. It was not discovered during the home inspection, and he lived in that home for several years before he realized that he was inflicting permanent damage to his lungs. Since that time, he has endured years of difficulty breathing, numerous lengthy hospital stays, massive doses of prednisone, which have depleted his bone mass to a fraction of what it once was, to the point where he can break ribs from coughing. His lungs function at 30 per cent of their normal capacity. Surely there is nothing worse than watching a loved one struggle for every breath. While the majority of home inspectors adopt high standards and are registered with one or more home inspector associations, currently anyone, as has been already said, can become a home inspector in Ontario. There are also nine different home inspection associations or certification bodies operating in Ontario with varying levels of qualifications and requirements. If a homeowner is not diligent in requesting the qualifications and registration of the home inspector they have contracted, they can become inadvertent victims. This should not be about luck. This is about consumer protection. Home buyers should feel secure when they contract a home inspector. They can expect minimum and uniform qualifications, standards of practice, and provision of services. Bill 165 would create those requirements and standards. I'm also very supportive of the accountability measures proposed in Bill 165, which would include mandatory minimum insurance, a code of ethics, and a consumer complaint process. The Ministry of Government and Consumer Services is actively working on addressing this issue and has committed to working for moving forward with the development of a legislative framework to regulate home inspectors. Mr. Speaker, requiring that home inspectors can be licensed would ensure consumer protection and a fair marketplace. I want to thank the member, member for Trinity Spadina for his work on this important issue and for bringing this bill forward. I'm happy to lend my support, and I encourage all members in the House to do the same. Merci. Thank you. Thank you.